All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922. I'm Ah, it's no big deal. No, it's only two games. But moving on. Data Live, season two, episode. By the way, next week's the last episode. Episode nine. Oh, by the way, Westcott. I hope you burn. In hell. Ellen, I hope Satan's got a bunch of pitchforks for you where he'll stab you repeatedly, just throw a bunch of swords right at you, and you become a human pitcushion. For those two, I say go to hell and burn until you're just. Just burning, insinuating flesh. Because those two, they're fucked up. And they deserve to burn in hell. Yeah, just for the mention that. Okay, but yeah, this episode, pretty much in this episode, Miku's past. This is what pretty much was. And I know we said a few bad things about Miku. I got a lot of responses. Um, both back on it's like, dude, bro, ball guy. She was. And pretty much that's how they did it. The only disappointment, I want to say one thing about this though. I'm a little upset. I don't know. I, I didn't. I don't read the light novels of Dead Alive, so I don't know how they did in the light novel. But maybe you guys can chime in. I like the viewers who watch these videos of Dead Alive, and they chime in and they tell me, you know, all this stuff. In the light novel, do they explain or show Phantom? Because in this episode, they didn't really do that. They basically have the whole thing with Miku where she's explaining why she hates men. With the whole thing about her being an idol and her songs and that, you know, she, she was supposed to do this thing with the TV producer, meaning, you know what, which is... And they would basically turn, how her fans turned on her and stuff. But they didn't really explain how she got her abilities as a spirit. But Ishido brought that in. He he said how he knows that. He so because the only and then another thing, the only other one who this has happened to was Katori. Katori and Miku are the only two so far that I am seeing from that were actually originally human and became spirits. So yeah. I found, I found that very intriguing. So yeah, pretty much the episode goes. We A lot of shit was going on in this episode. Um, Ellen, does, by the way, Ellen, I hope, I hope Toka, yeah, uh, turn her to a pile of, um, of just, of, just rip her to pieces. Yeah, just, just, just do that. Rip her to pieces. Because she, she deserves it. Um, we basically had, um, Mana, Origami fighting Jessica and Ellen, this bitch. Fucking slut. She, she just she needs to die. She just needs to die. Uh, and then at the same time, we, we have Shido. He, we think he, he kind of gets nailed down, and then Miku shows up. And Miku's reasoning was, oh, to add to her collection. And listen, her, her attitude... I'm sorry, even though bad shit happened to her, listen, no offense, but why are you bringing on Shido? Like, she really believes every human is like that. That's not true. That's not true. That just is, it isn't is. Because you know what really, really just was when she saw that shit happen in the room later on in the episode. She's like, oh, me and you fucked up. Also, I should mention, in this episode, during the scene where they're in the room, they're trying to get Toka back, she does something. In the anime, she didn't. But supposedly in the light novel, she does. She tries to attempt to get Westcott and Ellen under her control. But basically, we get the 411 about Miku. She get she saves Shido. They go up the stairs. We have the battles going on outside. Um, what ends on happening is 
he confronts her and says, after she tells him this story about how she was, you know, why she hates men and everything, um, he told her, I would listen to your songs. I loved your songs. I would listen to your songs. And, and then she, she's still in denial. She's very in denial. However, I will say this, and this is just from my point of view, I believe when this is all said and done, she won't be in denial anymore. I think, to some extent, I believe that she will be sealed by Shido by the end of next episode. At least from my point of view. So, you know, he's saying now, and they're basically walking up the stairs, up the stairs, and finally they get up to the final floor, which is floor 18. By the way, Westcott, Everything that was coming out of this guy's mouth, pure shit. Pure shit. Like, him and Ellen, put them, crucify them. That's what you do. You crucify them, you burn them, and then you proceed to take some daggers and throw them in there, at their, their, just throw them at them. No, 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 not even daggers. Uh, a sword. Just stick a sword in the chest. Yeah. And that, that's the end of it. Because they really deserve it for what they did to Shido and Toka. They really fucking deserve it. Burn in hell for all eternity, you sons of bitches. But they're witches, so it's, uh, it's expected. So the, the, the animation, I noticed some people, I think some people don't like the animation. You know, I think it's okay. It's not too bad. But basically, he confronts him. He try, Shido tries to go and get Toka. What ends up happening is um, she gets free Toka. But, see, this whole thing was, was a fucking trap. So they can get Toka to release her power as a negative spirit. But what ends up happening is Ellen stabs Shido... And, yeah, they, there's, they, there's Miku, it's like, oh. yeah, like, but she, uh, I, I, and here's the thing, even if they showed it in the anime, her attempting to sing her song and get them under her control, I don't think it would have worked, so, but she, after he gets stabbed, Toka tries to get in, you know, she's breaking the shield. No, 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 no. He almost get. He doesn't get killed though. He just gets stabbed one stab. Um. But what does happen is Toka just loses it, and she goes completely negative. And there's this awesome scene where you see like it's like the darkness, and like there's this hand and it grabs Toka. And I'm like, holy shit. And uh, just because Wes got, ha, 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 I got what I wanted. Oh, ha, 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 like a fucking idiot. Oh, by the way, uh, Westcott, just, 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 just a crazy thought here. Uh, what makes you think this is going to work like you planned? Don't you realize that she's going to be berserked? Don't you realize she might cut you in half? Well, personally, that's what I think is going to happen. She's going to stab Westcott in the fucking chest and his... Gonna have his, yeah. You know, that's just my opinion. But overall, this was a good episode. Um, five out of five. Liked how it was done. I can't believe what went down. Darkness was spreading and shit. So, what I think might happen is this. Um. I think, because Shido's not dead. There's no freaking way he's dead. I, I can't see that happening. Because um, if he is dead, then Westcott, he's really in the shitstorm. Because he'll have to do with he'll have to do with Katori. He'll have to do with Origami, Mana, a lot of people. So I don't think he's dead. The only thing I'm trying to figure out from this episode is who's going to stop Toka? Because now she's berserk. And she's going to go, because I thought it was, she was evil, but no, that's not what it was. It was going to be one of those things where apparently she loses herself because something happens, and most likely that thing that happens, she gets hurt or killed. But in his case, it wasn't, it wasn't killed. He was just, 
still stack. But this was a good episode. Next week seems to be the final episode. I was pissed off. They didn't show a preview. But it looked good. Good episode. I, I liked how they explained Miku. The only thing I dra dra dropped down of this was um, the fact that uh, we really didn't see when she made contact with the Phantom and she got her spirit powers. But I don't think that's necessary because you got the explanation of why she hates men. So that, that's still good. But yeah, pretty good episode. Five out of five for me. I think next week being the final episode, which seems to be... Um, we'll see how this goes down. The only thing I want is this. Kill Westcott. Yo, kill this kill this son, son of a bitch. He... he, he what, what a scumbag. Like, like, like seriously. Like, like, an evil son of a bitch. He's like, oh, I got your girlfriend, you got stabbed. Hey, by the way, you know Toka's gonna try to kill you, Prescott. I hope you realize that. But, well, we'll see what happens next week. Should be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing, like, Toka specifically. Like, what this form is like. I've seen, I've seen from the opening, but I'm really looking forward to seeing, like, is her abilities just like what she is before, but instead probably more evil or more sinister looking? But we will see. We'll see. Uh, Bonkai 922. See you guys later. Alan, burn in hell. Westcott, burn in hell. Miku. No. Miku's okay. It's just uh, she needs to like brush up on her manners towards her. She She's forgiven. She's forgiven. And it was like all my case about that. But Westcott, no. Fuck that motherfucker. Get get a knight, Get a sword. Stick it in his chest. Whip out his fucking heart and stop on it. Same thing for Ellen. Their witches burn them on the fucking cross. Check. So yeah, I'm Bob Kai Night Twenty Two. See you guys later. I think after this, I'll probably do Captain Earth. Yeah. Try to Captain Earth and the Dragon R. We'll see if I can knock those out. I'll uh, catch you guys later.